my favorite highlight here on Solid World 2011 is partner solution for called Maps 3D and this is a solution for the piping area, routing area and they are able to do support for libraries for isometric views, bill of materials, PNID and have a look. Yeah, what we provide is a full process chain which is normal in the plant design area and this is based on SOLIDWORKS. We give, begin with the PNID in front where you create the logic of the process, then the 3D piping based on SOLIDWORKS where you create the pipeline in virtual environment and then at least with ISOWORKS you can create automatically the manufacturing uh, drawings to use to manufacture the pipelines. To see this, we start with the PNID. In a PNID. In a PNID, it is able to bring symbols together with information from the database, and this information we transport automatically and direct without some breaks into the 3D environment to create the pipelines from it. In SOLIDWORKS, a user creates the sub-assemblies in support with the PNID connection, because from the PNID connection there comes the to-do list, what is to do with the new change in the PNID with the process plan. With this information we create the sub-assemblies. In the sub-assemblies a user defines the paths of his pipelines and if the path is defined, the software do the rest of the work. It looks like you see here if the pass is available, we assign the information from PNID directly to the existing path. All information created just one time, defined just one time, assigned to this pass. The message come up to say the user that is done. And after that, we click on the update button and get an automatically and complete correct uh, generated pipeline. It's not possible to do some errors and mistakes. If the pipeline has finished, you are able to create normal uh, picture views in SOLIDWORKS to, to deliver the manufacturing, or if this is not enough, you are able to create isometric drawings from this automatically with an additional tool. If you click on Start, the 3D pipeline is analyzed and the typical isometric drawings are generated. And if this mask has finished, we will see the finished and already and full generated pipeline on the screen. And the drawing comes back to SOLIDWORKS drawing. As a result, we automatically get the isometric drawing in SOLIDWORKS drawing.